and back with another video. My name is Sophia and welcome back to Sophisticated Beauty. So today I have a vegan box subscription to show you guys and it's something that I've been subscribing to now for about maybe two years now. I'm not vegan and I literally have been subscribing as a customer for yeah two years and I absolutely enjoy getting something different every single month you don't know what you're gonna get in the box it's just fabulous you can get treats snacks sweets chocolates sometimes household things and the odd beauty products in there also as well so I'm gonna show you what's inside my vegan box that I got this month and the vegan box literally looks like this it says the vegan kind that is the name of the company and it says be kind go vegan I would love to be vegan like I would absolutely love it but it's something that I think is gonna take some time to kind of get used to swapping over from all the meats that I have and fish and all that kind of stuff but for sure I do like things that are not from animal products um, like milk, dairy, like dairy. So I'm kind of more inclined not to have like dairy products if I can help it. Because um, I find that I kind of tend to break out most of the time when I do have dairy products. But um, yeah, that's what I like about it. It's all vegan, it's natural, it's nothing from any kind of animal, you know, like the sweets are not from made from like animal gelatin and stuff like that. So it's yeah, they're pretty much all natural types of stuff so let's have a little look inside the box this time around actually the box is actually smaller I'll show you because the other vegan box that I got is was a bit it was actually a bit bigger but um this time in this smaller size vegan box it's actually it's actually got more things in it so inside you get a leaflet um, it just kind of tells you like welcome to TVK, what series we're on, it's TVK 41 um, and on the back it shows you all the products that are inside but I'm not going to show you because I'm going to show you each product individually and it kind of tells you about the vegan connections and the campaign of the month and this month it is, oh vegan connections I think that's the actual that is the actual charity campaign of the month. And it tells you a bit of information about it as well. So 10p from every box goes to this. Um, yeah, for this charity or campaign. So as also you get a little in like a little it's like a I don't know what to call this. You also get um, a little recipe and in here it says ginger vegan superfood falafels if you like falafels I'm sure that's gonna taste really nice I think I've only ever tried falafel once and it was cold so um, yeah I'd le definitely like to try that at home and yeah it's literally got all the ingredients there as well um, so every month you also always get a recipe as well um, I've made a few of the recipes that I've got inside the box and some of the things are really really nice that I actually have made. I haven't had a chance to make it. And you also get a little like a binder to put these in. I'm gonna quickly go and get it and the subscription. Um I was being I was given a recipe folder to put all of these in and it's quite handy. It's already been hole punched. Oh <laughs> it's quite handy because it's already been hole punched and Literally, you can just clip that in and then I've got all my recipes in there and it's really good because it's got that kind of material I don't know what to call it but you can literally wipe it clean if you spill anything on it so that's really really good I don't know what point I got this but that was really really handy to put all my recipes inside of there from TVK from the vegan kind let's see the goodies I think I should try some of the goodies actually inside so I can give you my honest opinion and my honest feedback because I have been subscribing for how long and I have like most of the things that are inside the box sorry I have like most of the things that are inside the box so anyway you get hoops 
you might have heard of these before they do, do sell them in some supermarkets smoke smoked bacon so obviously this is um a vegan this is vegetarian and vegan kind to people and yeah it's got that flavor of smoked bacon without actually having to have bacon so let's, let's see oh my gosh it literally smells like bacon like crisp like you only get those bacon crisps like i can't remember the name but the, they have like various different bacon crisps so i'm gonna try it and it looks like this yeah mmm 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 that's really nice it's like eating croutons almost but with like a bacon flavour mmm smoked bacon flavour satisfying and alternative delicious Nut nutty grain snack <laughs> really nice really good you always get like little bits inside the box to make sure that it doesn't get crushed in the middle I'm just gonna move that out of the way and the next thing is clear spring organic sea veg crispies original toasted nori snack gluten free ms g free high fiber high in fiber it looks like this mm, um I imagine that's the, the brand name. Let's bring. Let's try that because I've never had this before. Mmm, I'm intrigued. Let me cleanse my palette. Actually, I've got my, my water here. Mmm. Okay. So it comes in like a little. It literally looks like seaweed. Look. Oh. So it's like these little. Oh wow is so cool mm. Mm. it literally tastes like when you go to like yo sushi when they wrap it in the seaweed it literally tastes like that and it is 28 calories per per pack that's really nice it's got look like a seaweed taste but yeah it's nori not sure what nori is it says here, thin crispy toasted nori, sea vegetables, baked at very high temperature for just a few seconds, flavour of natural sea salt and sesame oil, delicious on its own, or with sushi or sprinkled over salads. Yeah, that's how I recognise that flavour, is from like that sushi kind of flavour. Really nice, I really like that. That was really, really nice. And then, also I have in here a uh, shower gel and foam bath. I actually have full size ones of these that I purchase on a regular basis. Um, I have shampoo as well. And face. So this is basically Faith and Nature. Um, I use their hand soaps as well, their hand liquid soaps. They're quite good as well for like, cause I've got really sensitive skin. Um, and I'm always like, I get, I get the odd like kind of eczema as well that flares up every now and again. So yeah, Faith and Nature, I do recommend this brand. So this is the coconut, shower gel and foam bath um but yeah i've used the shampoo but i haven't actually used the foam bath before in the coconut uh the faith of nature i've used the jojoba in the shampoo and conditioner and i've used i think the rubus and something else but it smells so good that's like my favorite one um you can get that in the hand soap and you can also get that in the shampoo shower gel i mean um but yeah, and I do like the Jojoba shampoo and conditioner. So yeah, I've tried the shampoo and I really liked it. And it literally smells of like coconut. It literally does. It smells so good. So yeah, this is like a really great like vegan natural brand as well. Um, and I know that they don't, they don't use like sulfate. So yeah, it says here, free from artificial colours, fragrance, no parabens or SLS or biogradable bottles made from recycled material when available. So yeah, I really like this brand. I've literally liked every single scent that I've used. I've even used this, I think it was like citrus and something. I've used their seaweed one as well. When you're thinking about like the, the lower range on the natural beauty side, natural products, uh, small size is 100 mil. I think the one that I usually get is like maybe 500 mil or something like that or 400 or something mil. I'm not actually 100% sure. 
but it's a bigger size it's the bigger size version is on the it's it's cheaper than some other brands out there that are natural and organic so yeah faith in nature it's my favorite one of my favorite products so um let's get back to the box there's quite a few things in there actually um so you do get a few things you can get between maybe five to maybe even eight possibly even ten so I'll, I'll count it in. There's four that we've got through so far. So I think I've got about nine items in here. So uh, I'm going to go with this one. It's called Oatly. Oat drink chocolate. I feel like I've tried it in a different flavour before. I'm not sure what flavour. It was probably orange. So this is in chocolate. And it's the original Oatly. So I'm going to try this for you guys. It's really, really cool to like try them all at once sometimes I get so excited but literally like getting this box is like Christmas or your birthday all over again but like with just little treats and snacks and everyone likes treats everyone likes snacks so that's why I like it so let's try that so it's a shake I probably would put this in the fridge like I like my my milkshakes to be quite cool like chilled so mm. that tastes really good that tastes really good mmm so I think they pretty much, yeah, they've made it from oats and chocolate. They've probably got some kind of cacao in there or something like that. Uh, so it's oat based, yeah. Sugar by like 10%. Mmm, um, I really like this one. The next thing in here is Cajun Kit Garbanzo Dry Roasted Chickpeas. Less than 120 calories per pack. Certified gluten free. And this is the packet, and um, that's the brand name, Garbanzo. So it's obviously got a Cajun flavour to it. So I'm going to open, I've got a bit of this seaweed on my hand. Oh. So yeah, I think it's quite interesting to be able to just like, rather than just showing you, it's kind of nice to just try and explain the flavours. Yeah, it smells like Cajun, it smells like those like Bombay kind of sweets, not sweets, um, Bombay snacks, but it doesn't taste like Bombay snacks, it tastes really good, really nice, and I thought it was going to be crunchy, it's not, it tastes like I'm eating, like, it's got that consistency of like cashew nuts, really nice, really nice, it's got like nice Cajun kip, I love that, really, I'm not even guessing, like, um, and then also, uh, I've got a vegan cheese sauce mix and it's by Terra Vegan I think Easy cheesy vegan cheese I've tried it from their brand before I believe and it was like it came in a box with the actual pasta and it was really good so you literally all you needed to add was a uh, vegan marge so I just used flora and that's meant to be like a vegan um, like margarine and I mixed that and it came with the pasta and then it, it was so easy to make. I think I literally just made it from from the, from the a pot and it was really nice. So the fact that I've actually got the whole sauce mix, obviously you don't need to use the whole 150 grams. So I could actually make quite a few of these. I wonder how many you can make from it. But um, it's milk free, soil free, egg free. And when I did have it, I really liked the mac and cheese. So it's basically, it's a cheese sauce to make like mac and cheese. And it even has on here also the instructions of what to do um, and it also, uh, what else does it do? So quick and easy, rich and creamy. But yeah, I believe that you can literally just use this to make your mac and cheese or anything for a cheese sauce with like that you need cheese sauce for. So for example, um, oh gosh, there's so many different things that you can make like with cheesy sauces. For example, like dofuignons, <laughs> I don't know how you say it, dofuignons, dofuignons, it's like the potato, like cream potatoes, um, you could also make, yeah, like mac and cheese, you could also make lasagna with this, I believe, um, that's what I'm just, it doesn't really say, but I imagine that's what it, you could obviously use it for, but, yeah, and it tells you that it makes one litre of cheese sauce from this whole packet, so, I can't try this until I've actually made something with it and I can't really rate how it is apart from when I did try it from the packet that already had 
everything in it already with the pasta and the sauce and I made it and it was delicious. And I couldn't even tell that it was vegan. It just tasted like your ordinary mac and cheese. It tasted so good. And I had like, I think I made steak with it. But obviously I'm, I'm not vegan so yeah, don't mind me. So the next thing um, in here, vanilla fudge. This is like a whole block of fudge. My mum is going to definitely want some of this because my mum, she loves fudge. This is a handmade fudge and it's non-dairy, gluten-free, soy-free. So um, I believe that you can just eat it as a, as a snack. Yeah. And the brand is called Melting Pot. And it's a quite a big block of um, fudge. So it's 90 grams worth. Um, and it also tells you what's inside. Golden syrup, glucose, brown sugar, Madagascar, vanilla extract, cocoa powder, salt, uh, rice drink and sugar. And I think sunflower. It says, so I'm gonna try that, let's open that. When I first saw this, I thought this was like mini hand wipes so, or a bar of soap, but you know, fudge. And it's like a nice like, one of those packets that keep things really fresh. Oh, it smells like fudge. Just like fudge. Isn't fudge not usually like made just from mostly sugar, isn't it? So, let me break a piece off. So I don't think I'm gonna have to take the whole bar out. So that's what the bar looks like. I'm just gonna break a piece off and try. Mmm, that's good. Mm, 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 that is so good. It's sweet. So I think I'd only be eating like a block of that every now and again. Ooh. Ooh. And then last but not least, out of the box. See, it's quite a small book. Can you believe everything fitted in there? Fitted in there. And this is. Sorelli, I've tried this before. I got it from a natural whole food store. And I thought, let me try this. And it is basically hazelnut and dark chocolate cream filled, wafer covered with dark chocolate. And I like dark chocolate. I'd imagine this won't taste too dark. It will taste a bit sweet at the same time. Um, Cause yeah, it's got hazelnut in there. So usually hazelnut kind of balances that dark chocolate and makes it a bit more sweet without actually having to add any anything else like milk or anything like that, any kind of dairy. Uh, oh, so this is what the bar looks like. It's quite dark, so let's try this. Mmm, mmm. It's really nice. It's like literally a wave one inside. Yeah, man. It does taste dark, but not overly richly dark. But I usually like dark chocolate, so I'm used to it. If I have milk chocolate, it's far too sweet for me, milk chocolate. I can't. So, yeah, I usually go for, like, up to, up to maybe 70% um, cocoa. That's really nice. It's, like... I wouldn't really say it's like a bueno, it's really different because it's dark and it's got more crisp like wafers to it maybe. I, I love buenos actually, by the way, even though that is milk chocolate. But this is like maybe like a darker version, that's the similar the similarity. But that was actually really, really tasty. So yeah, that is literally everything that I got in, in my vegan box. I literally got nine products in that little box and it was absolutely amazing like everything tasted really great i'm not going to eat it all in one day that would be ridiculous but i will definitely be eating that throughout the month sometimes i've even had still got some of my products left over from months and months back because you can sometimes get different things like syrup for example or, or um all different types of things or even household products also as well but yeah i literally love getting all these things thank you for watching my video if you can please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon take care bye